Welcome back to NC Bassin. Today it's tournament day. Foothills tournament and Queen City tournament. Two tournaments in one. It's about the storm though. I mean, launches at 6 o'clock. The rain looks like it's going to get here in about 5.50. It's going to pour down the first five hours of the tournament. So I don't know how good the footage is going to be. But the wind's not going to be too bad while it's raining. And the wind's really going to pick up after the tournament. But I only have like two hours probably then to fish. Practice has been kind of tough. I've been able to catch fish, but it's been an afternoon bite. I haven't been able to catch anything over 17 inches. It's going to take bigger fish than that today, but the conditions are probably perfect. I mean, these stormy, rainy days, I thought the thunder might make the fish a little bit off, but rain, those rainy days, you get fish biting. It might be a shad spawn. I'm hoping it's been in the 80s the last few days that could really get the bite. Every time I've come here, it seems like it's been cold in the morning. If we can catch them, I mean, I, I think I'll catch them. I just don't know if I can catch big fish. I mean, three fish limit for one and a four fish limit for the other. It's probably going to take like at least 72 inches probably to get in. They're paying out four spots in one and three in the other. So I want to need a good bag. If we can catch them, let's see how it goes. Well, until 26 minutes to get here, guys. We are here. We made it. On time. Just had to pedal a little faster than I. Took me 40 minutes the other day, but I was just not trying too hard. We're at a marina with lights. I was hoping for a shad spawn, but water's only 64 degrees, so I doubt it. Hopefully there's shad in the lights still. And this stretch of docks is good. And then the next pocket's good, so I'm in a good area. Good stretch. I, I can just fish instead of having to travel a lot. It was pouring down when we launched. I should have waited. The rain chilled out about 6.05. I should have waited five minutes after launch, but then I wouldn't made it here on time. I mean, it when that first initial came in, it was pouring down. I am soaked, but it's kind of hot after that long pedal. It kind of feels good to be wet. It should be a good day. Hopefully that thunder didn't scare the fish away, but or keep them from being shallow. But should be a good day to fish moving baits. Six thirty, guys. Lines in. Guess I see that. Golly, bigging, bigging, guys on the chopo. Stay hooked up. You guys probably can't. And I lost him because I'm trying to get the camera on film. God! I'm trying to pull the GoPro out and I just lost a three pound largemouth. Great. So worried about the damn GoPro. Oh my God. It's another bite to Chapo. There we go. Stay hooked. Not nearly as big. I think he might be a smallmouth, actually. Just stay hooked. Of course, he's not even hooked in the mouth. He's on the side of the face. It's not big. It's a spot. Definitely take it. He's got some wings. I know you guys probably couldn't see nothing. I'm not reaching for the camera and losing a fish. I think I would have lost it anyways because he pulled off. It's not like I lost him because he jumped off or anything. I just reached down with my, the hand that I reel with to pull the camera out, and he he was still fighting. He just pulled off. So I probably would have lost him anyways. But as soon as he bit it, he crushed it and jumped completely out of the water. Definitely a long, skinny, three-pound fish, probably 18 inches. The kind of fish I need, but that gives me a clue to throw top water all day. The only thing I need to see... Then I had another bait, a uh, small fish waked on it and bit it. I don't think it was very big. It looked like a smallmouth. Just made a line straight to it and sideswiped it and I missed him. Didn't even hook him. But that's three bites in one stretch. Let's see how long this fish is. Oh, we got it. Got him. Little guy. Can't believe that guy bit my chopo. Well, he missed the chopo and then I threw back in with a wacky rig, wacky rig baton. Ooh, I about lost him. He'll probably keep barely. He'll relax. Guys, use my code NC Bassin. Get you 15% off. Go 
Golly. Small mount killed that chopo. Daddy's big. That's a spot. Mean mouth, whatever you call it. God, he's tiny. Bluff walls have the small mouth. I mean, spots and small mouth. Even towards the main lake, that one small mouth is shallow, but that spot. Big large mouth was closer to the back. Still on the rock wall, though. 11 incher. Not big enough. It's actually only have to be 10 inches in the foothills, but I need something bigger than that. Be a smallie. I think he's very big. I need anything I can get right now. A little small mouth. So I throw the 120, even the little little guys will eat it. It is slick calm though. When it's slick calm, I like the 90 or the 75, which I don't have anymore. It's like a get some wind here in a little bit this draws them out too this bigger bait a lot of times they don't even want to eat it they just want to get away from their bed i think these fish are actually feeding someone might be on beds this guy's got red eyes he could be you guys can even see that Kingfisher on my bait. Not big. Think there's a bed fish over here, guys. There's just no way I can get to him. Not this guy will even keep, but if he's in a big if he was any bigger, I don't know if I could have got him in. But there's a fish on a fluke. Another tiny one. He's probably on a bed too. Look at his fins. That one right there is probably 15 or, or probably 16 inches, but there's just no way I can get him in. Well, guys, midday update. Somehow just got my chopo stuck in a tree and broke it. Broke the broke the prop off. That's what I hate about chopos. I'm always hitting stuff. I can't cast sitting down. I don't know how you guys fish out of a kayak. I mean, my casting accuracy is terrible. Cast so much better standing up. That's what I got. Four fish. I can't upload them because I have no signal, but they're tiny. Thir 12 and 13 inches ain't going to do a dang thing. I mean, my, even my big one's too small. I got four hours to catch four big fish. Had a chance this morning to have one good one. That would have went a long way. I'm going to the backs of these pockets looking for a largemouth. Going down these rock banks that seem to look good. But seems like there's not any largemouth on beds, hardly. There we go. Smallmouth. Yes. Just need the sun to come out. It's a decent fish. It's not big at all, but stay hooked up, please. gonna stop sight fishing i spent way too long on a 14 inch large mouth he bit it twice i just couldn't hook him he wasn't big at all that's a chunk actually yes get to the main lake and start catching small mouth i've been trying to target large mouth these backs of these creeks are just fish are few and far between large mouth are not aggressive small mouth are way more aggressive so the chunk there almost looks full small mouth that's a pretty fish Doubt he's full of smallmouth, but close to it. How big is he? Little small jaw. 
I'm losing. Might be longer than my barely got him, man. And he tore my swim bait up. Well, maybe we can start instead of waiting all day on the wacky rig. I was thinking that maybe I could draw some out. But... There's the perfect cast to where it was. I don't have time to wacky rig fish, man. Catch one swim bait or nothing, I guess. There he is. Yeah, this could be an awkward hook set. God, of course he's little. Stole my last baton in that color. Then this threw my Cinco off. The, oh my, look at that. Got it back. He stole, he stole my baton, I got it back. Just threw on a Cinco I had it in the floor right here. <laughs> he swallowed it, because now I got it back. I don't think he's even gonna help. 13 inch, mean mouth. There's clearly it had to be a bed. It's like all these fish got pulled off their beds. That's a fish right there. God, of course. Spots are easy to catch. It's too small. It's the story of the day. I can't let that. That big one really ain't got in my head till now. Like how much still wouldn't be able to win with that fish, but I'd be in position. Yeah. Just so, hard, so hard to catch a big fish here. I've been here seven times and I haven't caught a fish over two and a half pounds. God. I don't think he's gonna help. Never seen three fish on a bed, guys, but there is. There's three smallmouth on a bed over here. Laying eggs. It's weird. Yeah, he will help actually. Yes, I got 30 minutes. There's a large mouth up shallow that has already been caught that won't even touch my won't even stay near my bait. I think there's one that's black is way bigger than the other two. This is probably the smallest of the three. They're all pretty close to the same size though. If I can catch two, I'll be happy. I didn't pay attention to my wacky rig, but he bit that twice. Damn. Got her. Got the female. Yes. No. God. The large mouth. Dang it. That was a 16 and a half incher probably. God. Not huge. The male's tiny. But female's my size. Can't believe she bit it. I can't believe I lost her. Well, guys, that's the day. Tough day. When I'm I'm not sure what place I'm in. I think I'm 16th in the foothills out of 44. Terrible. I mean, 
I just couldn't get a kicker fish. I thought for sure I'd catch 15 inchers easily. I was trying to get a kicker fish on the Chapo, especially after I got that bite this morning. The first 30 minutes, I didn't get nothing. Then I got a few bites on that stretch. That big one bit first. I tried to pull my GoPro out of my out of my jacket, have zipped up. I tried to pull it out, got off. But, I mean, he bit it, hooked him. He jumped completely out of the water, seen the whole fish. He's probably 18 and a half inches. At least that's what I'm going to tell myself, maybe 18 inches, but it definitely could have been a 20 inch. It was a big fish. It's a tough day. These things are offline on the Queen City, but somebody has like a 58 inch bag for it could be at Kerscott or here, probably at Kerscott. I mean, I don't see how you catch a 58 inch three fish for 58 something. I think it was 58.50 maybe. One by a lot. Somebody had 54 inches. Poured down on us this morning, but then it wasn't that bad. I mean, the rain stayed coming for a while, but it wasn't like pouring down when we put in this morning i should have just waited till like 610 to put in because then it wasn't as bad but it from 545 to 615 it was torrential downpour pouring down still fun day fishing a tournament on a different lake i'm used to fishing i've only i haven't had a solo tournament anywhere besides normal not a real tournament at least it was fun to try a new lake i need to get to, i need to learn some more lakes and fish tournaments on them anybody can catch them during the week when nobody's out here it's harder to catch them when money's on the line and there's a tournament a bunch of people out there thanks for watching we'll see you next time on nc bassin